Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol WKHS. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, volume-wise, this one has really settled down recently and seen low, lowest volume that it's seen in, in quite a while. Now, I don't mean that in, in the sense of, and therefore, this thing has no hope left. I'm just making an observation that, you know, things have really kind of slowed down for this one. I mean, this one used to be the talk of the town. I mean, all sorts of volume. And again, I'm not saying that is, you know, all of a sudden meaning that the, the, the you know, story's over, uh, but just an observation that, you know, I, I would have thought that volume would be, you know, a little bit higher than what it's been. Uh, but nonetheless, that's just kind of the first observation. But from more so the technical point of view and the key levels from, you know, a, a price action standpoint, the first level that, and this is not a great discovery, there's going to be a lot of people watching this area. And rightfully so. But this level right there at $26 has become a very stubborn and a very annoying level of resistance. I mean, you can see right there the price tried to get above it, but failed. Try to get above it, but failed. Late day bounce today, try to get above it, but failed. So while I'm not saying the price can't get above that level, all I'm saying is you're going to have all sorts of people watching that level. And it's going to be, uh, you know, not guaranteed, but more than rational to think that if the price gets up to 26 and can finally actually get up and to get a break through it, that break in and of itself could very well create quite a bit of upside buying pressure. Again, nothing's guaranteed to happen, but that would certainly be a more than valid thought to have. So definitely keep a close eye on that $26 mark moving forward. As far as areas of support are concerned, key level to watch now moving forward, gonna be right down there around the 2435 mark. So 2435, same exact idea. Sure, nothing's guaranteed, but if the price were to go down there and then break down through that level, it's more than you know valid and more than plausible to think that that break could very well create quite a bit of downside selling pressure. So those are gonna be the two main levels to watch moving forward. So let's see how this one continues to play out on the week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.